Right, this is day 14 of my land trip to Europe and it's 14th of August 2011 and I'm standing in front of the, uh, the East Gate of Peking University All right, uh, or Beijing University uh, In Chinese it's called Beijing Daoshe and most people here call it Beida and it's one of the top universities in the world and uh, a, lot of, a lot of students uh, need to work really really hard to get into this uh, university. It's very, very difficult to get in here. It's very competitive, and only the top 5% maybe of the people can get a place to study here in Peking University. And uh, this university has become uh, one of uh, Beijing's tourist attraction, and you can see uh, the queue uh, behind me just now. Uh, there were so many people queuing up just to get into this place, and uh, there are more people coming, all right? Uh, initially, I thought you have to queue up to pay uh, a fee to get in, but actually they just need to register you. Uh, when I was there, I have nothing to produce. Uh, he just asked me to go. So, uh, I'm in here in Beijing Daxue. Alright, let's take a walk. Okay, so now you can see in Peking University that there is the new and the old. You have new modern buildings and you have old and historical and traditional buildings here. And now I'm walking towards the Wu Ming Hu, which is the lake here in the university. And you can see it's really just like um, a peaceful and quiet place in the university where I think students can come to relax and just to de-stress because it's really quite nice you can hear the chirping of the birds the crickets and all that it's a nice and peaceful place So this lake has no name, um, so it's called No Name Lake, right? And so this is a huge lake, and uh, I don't know, maybe students come here to relax. And uh, I read online that this lake is frozen sometimes during winter, alright? So that you can, you can actually skate on it, it's quite cool, right? So you can really see the old and the new integrates into one and uh, it's really such a big university. Uh, if you really want to see everything here, you probably need one whole day, right? So from the east gate, I walk all the way to the west gate and the west gate is uh, very popular for tourists to take uh, photos with the with that gate, with the entrance. But uh, it has uh, so much history and so much uh, tradition. Alright, in this area, 
And the western side of the university is uh, it's really the, the older part of the, the uni. Right, where the eastern side you can see nice and big uh, modern buildings. So you can see the contrast. So now I have toured finished the university and I'm out of the East Gate once again and you can see the number of people going in is just crazy because it's like so many people queuing up and the queue is just going longer and longer and longer and longer all the way back. You see that? So many people coming in. So now, the time now it's about 2 o'clock so I'm going to look for some lunch. and. I read there's one uh, dim sum restaurant that's quite good, so I'm going to find the place of the restaurant. So after looking for a while, I finally found this place called East Ocean Restaurant. Um, I read about this restaurant, it has good reviews and uh, it's quite popular actually. And uh, one of the things to eat here is their dim sum. So I ordered their dim sum here and uh, it's weird because I'm eating it alone and uh, the timeline is about 3 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, there's nobody in the restaurant except me, right? So this is my food. Okay, and there are more to come. And uh, I'm alone here, so they give me one little private, so-called um, enclosed area to eat, right? <laughs> so, let me enjoy the food. So my dish are out. All right. So chicken feet. I have my bao. Yeah, and I have the salmon bao. Chicken feet. You know, I, I reckon that this is probably the most expensive meal I'm gonna have in this trip. <laughs> Such a classy restaurant here. Hmm. Good. Very soft. Oh, just now the haga was really good. When you eat the haga, right? It's like so crunchy and so ah, so nice. It's really good. So the bill turns out to be about $20 sing, which is not too bad, about $20. Uh, I expected a lot more actually, so $20 for those dishes in a high class restaurant, I think it's still quite, still quite okay, so it's still not too bad, right? So now I'm walking along the street, I'm finding Kafu supermarket so that I can buy some groceries and I buy some stuff to prepare myself for the 
Trans-Siberian train that I'll be in for six days. So I need to stock up a lot of food and uh, some stuff. All right. So where's the place? I think I found Kafu, and it's just right down there. So I'm going to go and do some grocery shopping. Today is day 16 of my land trip to Europe and it's the 16th of August 2011 and today Beijing is a bright and sunny day um, I'm at Dong Zhong Jie looking for my massage place alright heard that this is a good place, a recommended place so uh, just thought of going for a massage right? Alright so now I finished my massage and it's quite good Ah, now it feels much better. And uh, now I'm in this Hong Kong restaurant trying their food. So I ordered uh, chicken and uh, roast meat. Alright, and also Guo Tie, which is coming up next. Alright. Okay, so now my Guo Tie is here. Let's try the food. Mm. Wow. Very meaty. A lot of meat. It's very nice. Uh, aroma is good. Mm. The other day when I came to this restaurant, this store, it's like I was so impressed with this dumpling and this is probably one of the best dumpling I've ever tried in my life and it's not just dumpling, right? This is steam and then it's fried, right? It's called fried dumpling. Can you see? It's like, it's very nice and inside when you bite, right? It's all the, the sauce, the soup will just ooze out. It's like, wow, it's just delicious best ah. you can just taste the soup inside it's like so nice this is how it's oh look at that oh it's just so nice I have to I have to just come back I have to come back here just for one more meal just to eat this one more time before I leave Beijing tomorrow Right. If you are ever here in Beijing and you are near the Beijing railway station, you should come to this place. It's called Atun Fried Dumpling. Ah, it's really good. <laughs> 